welcome to the Fairfax County Public Library program, Bow Stained Glass. My name is Angela, a librarian at George Mason Regional Library, and today I'm going to show you a simple and fun way to create your very own stained glass art. First, let me show you all the items we will be using. A basic picture frame. You can choose any size based on how large your creation is going to be. A selection of acrylic paints, black puffy paint or fabric paint, clear glue. Clear is best as it helps with the translucent effect. That is, it lets the light through better. And paint brushes. I've chosen two sizes, one for large areas and one for more detail. You can get these materials at any craft store. I will be using a paper plate as my paint palette, and it is always good to have paper towels on hand as well, as well as a cup of water for cleaning the brushes. So now let's get started. I'm going to do a simple design, a jack-o'-lantern. I've printed out an outline of the picture I want, or if you're very creative, you can draw your own one yourself. I've removed the glass from the frame, and now I will place it on top of the template, just like that. You'll notice I have paper towels underneath just in case. So now I'm going to use the puffy paint. I'm going to draw along the outline. It's almost like using a large pen and it doesn't have to be perfect because after all, there is no wrong art. So this gives you an idea of what we have so far. It's easier to see it if I hold it up like that. Now we have to let it dry, and this can take several hours. So I have one that I finished earlier. Next we will use our translucent paint. I will put a dab of clear glue onto our plate. Just a small dab. And I'm going to start with orange for the pumpkin. I use about three times as much glue as I do paint. Now I'll mix it together really, really well. Using the smaller brush, I'm going to fill in the details on the pumpkin. This is the one I prepared earlier. thing about the puffy paint that is that it's slightly raised which makes it easier for staying within the lines. Hello if I go outside. No big deal. You can put the paint on as thickly or as thinly as you would like. I prefer it thinner because it lets more of the light through. I'm not going to finish this now, but you get the idea of what it's starting to look like. For the sky, I'm going to prepare the paint in the same way. And I'm going to do purple sky and green ground. Make sure I use the right materials. So I'm going to use the larger brush for this, so I'll put the smaller one in the water to get clean. Just get this slightly damp as well. And I'm going to mix 
mix the paint again. Now with the larger one, you'll notice it can get a little bit streaky. I kind of like that effect because I think it makes for a stormy sky. But if you don't like it streaky, you just let this dry and apply another coat. When you're done with this, you want to let it dry for a while. So I'll show you a little bit of the purple and I'll do a little bit of the grass. So I want to make sure I've got all the purple out of this brush. And mix up the green. Same applies if you like it a thicker look. You just let this dry and you apply another coat. Now let that dry as far as it goes. I did do one earlier to show you the finished product. And here we have it. You can see how shiny and see through it is. I have a little paper towel behind me to see it better. So, I hope you'll have fun creating your own faux stained glass and you can make it as simple or as detailed as you like. Thank you for watching and happy painting.